Hi all, if you are trying to download my Dr. Seuss Choice Board to Seesaw so that your students can actually click on the links, here is a video showing you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to need to do, um, I shared it as a PDF document, so you're going to need to download that PDF document. Mine, as you saw, was on my desktop. So I'm now going to go to my Add button in my Seesaw class. I'm going to go to Post Student Work. And here's where the uh, part is that's going to make it clickable versus not. You do not want to share a link to the PDF. You actually want to upload the PDF. So I'm going to go to Upload. I'm going to go and find my file. Mine happens to be on my desktop. There it is. I'm going to click Open so it drops in to Seesaw, hopefully fairly quickly here. And then once it drops in, Let's see what's going on here. My computer has been kind of slow lately. The spinning wheel of death is spinning right now. So we'll let that PDF file hopefully jump in here. Here it comes. It's going to open up in what looks like that drawing tool. I'm just at this point going to click the green check mark. Decide where you want it to go to. I'm going to say all students in my class and green check mark one more time. I have folders I'm not going to worry about, so I'm going to check mark past that. And this is now going to upload into my Seesaw class for all of my students to see. At this point, when your students are seeing it on their class feed view, um, in order for the links to work, they're going to want to come down here right underneath the picture and click on View Original. When they click on View Original, it's going to open up that actual PDF. And at this point now, when your um, students click on the links, it should take them out to the sites that are clicked. So hopefully that helps you out. Have fun with it. Would love to hear if you ended up using it or not and if your students enjoyed it.